Hi, this is Greg from Vital Health Sinus, and we're here in our San Diego warehouse. Uh, we often get questions on the assembly of the corner unit. So uh, we've got a, as you can see, we've laid a floor down here. Um, as we get it staged, this is going to be an elite three D full spectrum. But all the corner units, whether they're cedar or hemlock, premier, elite, full spectrum, far, they all assemble exactly the same way. So this one here is really going to cover all of it. So this, we've got Raphael and um, Pedro here that's going to be doing the assembly. I'm going to step back and they're going to start with this assembly and I'll commentate, kind of let you know what they're doing at the time. So let me get back here and let, let them get to busy. Okay, so they're bringing the uh, the left rear panel, and they're sitting on the on the spot on the on the floor. They're going to bring the other right rear panel, gently put it on the floor, and then they're going to slide them together. The two panels they they fit airtight in a little tongue and groove fashion on the back. And there's three buckles that you'll see when you're putting it together. Three buckles that they that they will. They're just doing a little little line up there. You make sure you get it lined up, and you maybe got to tap it a couple times. And then they're going to lock those three buckles together. The locking class buckle in the rear. Now they're bringing the the first cap heater in, and there's a uh, electrical plug there. There's actually two plugs that come out of there, one for the floor and one for the, the cat feeder. It doesn't matter how they go. So they plug those in. As you can see so far, very easy. Now they're bringing the benches over. And they just set in place. Now, one thing I want you to point out, um, to this point, they've used no tools whatsoever. Here's the, the front glass door, tempered glass door. It's a very heavy, very nicely done glass door. Uh, they're bringing the control front panel. Now, it doesn't matter which one you do first, whether it's the, the left or the front, left or the right side panel. They're both the same. And as you can see, they, they're dropping that down onto the front tempered glass door panel. That's important to, to know that you don't put the side panels on first and then drop the glass. Like it may intuitively, it looks like you do that. You have to drop the side panels onto the tempered glass. Now they're gonna bring the other right side panel and they're gonna drop that just like they did the left onto the front tempered glass door. You, you have to work with this one here a bit. This is, you gotta be a little careful in, in, in lining it up. It takes, sometimes it takes a, now they're doing it very fast. They do this a lot. Uh, it might take you a little bit longer. So you gotta get the, make sure you get the right angle and line up and all those hidden classes have to go in the holes at the same time. So you gotta get the right level, the leveling's gotta be perfectly level and the right angle to drop them down. Now they're picking the whole assembly up. As you can see, it takes two people to assemble this song. They're picking that whole assembly up and they're setting it onto the base. Lining everything up and pushing that tongue and groove together so they can lock those locking buckles. There's, there's three on each side. And you just gotta tap it around a little bit and move it just to make sure it's even on the base. As they're doing some final adjustments, you can see. Now he's opening the door so we can get in and do, make sure it's on the base straight and everything's lined up perfectly. Opening that door can be tricky uh, when it's closed without the handle. They come with the handle off. So when you get that door closed, it's, uh, the easiest way to open is a suction cup, actually. Put a little suction cup if you got one around the house, and you can pull it right open. If not, you can step on a chair and push from the inside. Or 
Now on this handle, can, can, can we get a closer up look at this handle on the camera? Can we come up and show what you're, what you're actually doing here? Because we, is that good? Right there, right there, okay. Uh, we get questions often about the handle fitting through and you have to disassemble that for it to fit through the small holes. See the big side, so he's, he's, he took it apart, he's screwing that inside off. Well, he dropped all the pieces, but that, that's fine, it doesn't break. Okay, so they, they took that base off. So now it can fit, it can actually fit through the little holes on that front panel. This step here will take a will take a screwdriver, so you will need a you will need a screwdriver for this one step here. So he's tightening the as he that part that he took apart that, that we showed you. Uh, he put the handle through, and now he's he's tightening it up, and then the, the inside will attach to the assembly, and then that will screw to that outside handle. It's very easy. Uh, once you get it apart, you'll see exactly how it goes in there. It's just important to note that some customers. Uh, Call us because the handle will not. I don't think the handle fits through the small holes on the glass door. So uh, you have to take that that outside handle. You, you have to take it apart um, on the end there. You screw that apart, pull it apart, and that and that has a smaller shaft that actually fits through the hole. I think this is the only step that we have that even requires any tools. If you hear a little background noise going on, it's okay. We're actually in our warehouse. We're not in a, we're just kind of like you'd be in your home setting up a sauna. We wanted to make this, this video as really kind of raw and real as we could. Okay, so now they're gonna bring the top panel and they're gonna lift it gently over the top while they, now they're gonna, they're gonna kind of hold it while they gently feed the heater cables through the holes on the top. It's easy to do, but it takes two, even a third person's kind of handy with this step if you have a third person available. Now these are the controller and, and media player, those, those smaller ones in the front, the color cables, those are, those are the control cable and media player cables that are gonna be feeding up through. It's self-explanatory where they feed through, you'll see when you put the, when you put the roof up there, there's only, really only one place that they can feed through. You will need a, a, a small step ladder or stool to go on top to feed to help feed those through, and then also to make the. There's about six connections on the top. Now we're not gonna we're not gonna make those connections for simplicity of this video, uh, but. All those co all those cables they fed through. There's a there's a cable right there. He's showing you. Yep. So you just plug those, and, it, and you really can't mess up. The, you can see the the male and female they go together, uh, and then the stereo cables there on the front.
there's a power cable and a media cable. The power cable is obvious. The wires are the, actually the same color. Uh, the, the two smaller ones are for the for the speakers. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which one they go on. Just just get one that fits and put it on. It's, it really does not matter at all which one far is left in front in front channel speaker. So. And that's the controller cable. So I guess they're gonna go ahead and disconnect those real quick so you can just see how fast, how fast they, they go, this whole thing. And then you go to the rear and they're gonna step up and they're gonna do the same thing uh, with the rear. The rear heater cables and there's also uh, one cable for the power station that, that is marked up there. I think, what was that, about 10 minutes we got on this video? I'm not, I didn't time the exact amount, but as you can see how easy it was, uh, one tool was needed through the whole assembly, and that was a screwdriver. Now, it really can't get, now, hey, it's gonna take you a little bit longer than this. These, these guys have done this a few times, obviously, but, but it'll take you a little bit longer, but this video is gonna be very helpful. Really, you don't even need any directions. Watch the video a couple times, uh, and you shouldn't have any problem. If you have any questions, you can always call us, call customer service, tech support, and we'd be glad to answer any questions we have. Again, this is Greg from Bottle House Sonics. Have a great day. Thanks.